All right, this is fourth grade, module six, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are going to be adding decimals, but this time they're going to be doing it in the context of money, connecting pennies to a hundredth of a, of a dollar and a dime to a tenth of a dollar. And so we're still not quite at that standard algorithm because at this point we're still uh, laying those stepping sto stones towards developing a deep understanding of the mathematics rather than just blindly following a rule. So let's get started. So here you can see it's a visual representation showing that a dollar is a hundred pennies. So a hundred pennies is equal to exactly one buck right there, which is a hundred out of a hundred. So the idea is a hundred cents is a hundred hundredth of a dollar. And so if we went down here to 37 pennies, what is 37 pennies? Well, 37 cents is equal to 37 hundredths of a dollar, which we would write as 0 0.37. The idea being um, that zero is not necessary, but it means I have zero dollars and 37 cents. Now we're going to focus on the fact that a dollar is equal to uh, 10 dimes. So, of course, 10 dimes is 100 cents. So that's ten-tenths of a dollar. So that's one whole dollar. And then if we want to, we could go down here to nine dimes. So what's nine dimes? Well, that's 90 cents. And that nine dimes is nine out of ten. It's nine out of ten of these dimes over here. And that equals zero dollars, 90 cents. And once again, that zero, that leading zero, is not necessary, but we include it customarily to say, hey, we have zero dollars and ninety cents. Connecting it with quarters, and pretty much we've got all the options right here. So we know that one dollar is equal to four quarters, so three quarters is seventy-five cents, because we want, we want students to be able to say, uh, 25, 50, 75, 100. We want students to be able to skip count up and down, up and down that way. And so three quarters, we want students to know that's 75 cents. So that's 75 hundredths of a dollar, which is 0 0.75. And if we wanted to, we could do 14 as well. Question 14, one quarter is 25 cents. So that's 25 hundredths of a dollar which is 0 0.25. So here, they're leaving it up to the, the students to really choose how they organize their, their thoughts. Uh, for example, if we were to look at 3 quarters and 13 pennies, uh, there's a variety of ways students could think of this. Um, we could have them say, well, 3 quarters, I'm going to start with the fact that that is 75 cents, and we could either use that symbol or we could use the word cents altogether, C-E-N-T-S. All right. And then, of course, it says 13 pennies. So what's 13 pennies? Well, we could think of 13 pennies as a dime plus three extra pennies. So if we wanted to, now we could add all of these together. And we can see that 75 plus 10 is 85 cents plus three more cents. That's 88 cents. And I'm kind of mixing and matching my labels. I used, oops, I used the symbols here, and then I used the word here just to kind of mix and match. I'm allowed to do that. And again, down here, 187 cents is what fraction of a dollar? Now, this is curious, because if you think about it, 185 cents is 187 over 100, and that's equal to 100 hundredths plus 87 hundredths. So I kind of did a number bond. I, I did decomposition. And we know that this is one whole dollar. So that equals one and 87 hundredths of a dollar. Last slide is, again, we're going to allow our students to choose how they organize their thinking here. We've got a dollar plus two dimes plus 13 pennies, plus $2, plus 3 quarters. So we've got a lot of work here, right? And what we can do is if we could use the commutative property if we want. We could say, hey, we've got a dollar plus $2, so that's $3. 
And then let's see, we have oh, uh, two dimes. We don't have any other dimes, so we could just leave that alone. So plus two dimes. Plus, let's see, do we have any, oh, here we have quarters here. I'm just kind of organizing it the way I want to. Three quarters. It's not necessarily the, the perfect way. And then, oh, we already took care of the dimes. And then we have 13 pennies. But I'm going to take those 13 pennies, and I'm going to change that to be one dime plus. And that wraps up fourth grade module six uh, lesson 15, using money to talk about decimals.